Okay, so we've done step one, two, three, four, five, and we skipped se step six so far. We haven't configured port security on all of the access ports, but we did do step seven, disabling all these unused ports. But now what we need to do is we need to actually use these three ports right here because we have them connected to users. And then we'll do the port security, we'll add port security to these access ports that are connected to these users. So what we'll do is we'll say, we'll go into those ports. All right, so we'll say conf t and interface fa0 slash 1. Now it's already been set to access mode, so we don't need to do that, right? So we've already done switch port mode access, so we'll say sw tab switch port access vlan and I believe it is 20. No, VLAN 10. So VLAN 10. Okay. So, and you can see that we didn't have a VLAN 10 and it just created it on the fly for us. So that was nice. So now we've set it to VLAN 10. The other thing that we want to do now, we've already, we've already done the rest. We probably want to do a no shut command, which will turn the port back on. So now this port is in VLAN 10 but it has all these other aspects to it still configured. Let's see if it does. Control C, show run, and you can see that now it's part of VLAN 10, it's in mode access, no CDP, port fast BPDU guard, all enabled. All right, so now let's add some port security. I'll do Control C, Conf T, and I'll go back into that interface. Interface F a zero one and actually what we could do is we could po uh, apply this these commands probably to all three interfaces so let's do interface range or actually let's just change the VLANs for the other interfaces too so for port 2 what we can do is switch port access VLAN 20 and then no shut and then I'll do an interface FA03 and then I'll say switch port access VLAN 30 and then also do a no shut command which will um, bring the interface back up. So now all three interfaces are back up and we need to add port security. So for port security what we'll do is we'll say interface range FA 0 slash 1 to 3 and that puts us into uh, configuration interface range mode and now we can add port security. So we'll say SW tab switch port PO tab port security and that will turn on port security for those three ports so now what we want to do is do an up arrow right and let's look at our commands real briefly port security and what we want to do next is a maximum number of MAC addresses that can be used on the port now you'll find in the Cisco curriculum they oftentimes recommend maximum two addresses well why is that well that is because oftentimes you might have a situation in a business where they have a phone hooked up to the switch port and then the user's computer is hooked up to that phone so you actually have two devices on this one port so you want to be able to learn two MAC addresses on that port for um, one for the phone I guess and one for the computer right so in this case though we don't have that we just have a computer so we don't need to do that so what we'll do is we'll say port security and you can see if we put a question mark here we can see that we've got MAC address maximum and violation so we'll say maximum one alright so we can only learn one MAC address on that port so if a user was to try to replace this computer with their own laptop right or they were trying to put a switch on here or some other device then the port security would shut down that port or at least it would trigger an alert that it's gone past the maximum and now we'll, we'll set what's going to happen if that happens if there is an alert and we pass the maximum number of MAC addresses which is one what we'll do is we'll say violation and then question mark and then you've got protect restrict or shut down so we'll say shut down so switch port port security violation shutdown alright and then we'll say switch port port security 
Mac tab address and we'll do a question mark here and we'll say sticky configure dynamic secure addresses as sticky so instead of us having to go in and manually configure each port with the specific MAC address of the user will have this sticky command which will enable the switch to basically remember that MAC address and and basically configure that with with the MAC address learned on the port the first MAC address learned on the port okay so there we go now in these commands you can see here that there's also an aging you can age out that MAC address um, with this command right here switch port port security aging time um, 120 now with this what you could do is you could age it out but right now on, on packet tracer we don't have access to that command so in other words if I type in switch port um, port security and I put a question mark you can see I do not have access to the aging command so we can't we can't really uh, do this but what we could do is we could also maybe try to see if we could add storm control to the port as well so in case we have an attacker trying to um, broadcast on the port we could see if we could actually do that so let's see if we can do storm control so that command would be storm control and let's see if we have access to that all right so we'll put a question mark here and you can see there's storm control so storm dash control let's put in a question mark and you can see we can set it, it looks like we have access to the broadcast storm control so we'll do that broadcast and then space and then a question mark and then the level and we'll say storm control broadcast level and we'll say 75 percent so if if broadcast packets go past 70 75 percent of which uh, seventy five percent of the available bandwidth the um, port will be shut down so we say storm control broadcast level seventy five and another command here storm control action shutdown it doesn't seem like we have access to that command however so if we type storm control it doesn't look like we have access to that command so we'll just leave it at that alright so now we'll do a um, control C and we'll do a show run and you can see that on port 1 here it's on VLAN 10 it's an access port it's not in auto mode and it's um, switch port port security is enabled uh, MAC address sticky no CDP um, it's in port fast mode BPDU guard and storm control broadcast level 75 percent and that is set for ports 1 2 and 3 right they're each in their respective VLANs and all the other ports are um, basically shut down and are in a VLAN that is not used and they have everything else turned off so if they were to, to basically be enabled they wouldn't instantly be a vulnerability on the network so now that we've set up security on our access ports on our switch let's use some of these um, show commands just to look at it really briefly so we've looked at already show run right let's say show interfaces switch port you can see here port 01 VLAN 10 trunking native mode but it's not a trunk so we don't need to worry about that that's fine and then some of the other ports let's say like port 4 disabled unknown multicast disabled a lot of the features are off it's in VLAN 22 which is an unused VLAN negotiation of trunking is off that all looks good now we've looked at that before so not a lot of difference there let's do a show VLAN command in our VLANs you can see we now have VLAN 10 20 and 22 and we have VLAN 30 and we can see that we have ports applied appropriately now what we we have we still have our gigabit ports which we're going to use for trunks in VLAN 1 and so we're going to need to change that right um, we can also do a show storm control and show storm control broadcast and you can see here that we've got the upper limits and the lower limits of storm control on ports FA 0, 1, 2, and 3 set to 75% and then their current levels. So that was the show storm control.